啊，来听到知音，服务员聆听、啊。各位尊敬的外师呢，奉献者，今天是二零二一年九月二十八日，我们又荣幸的邀请到了圣阿比维纳维纳什拉辛哈斯瓦马哈拉，给我们讲解今天的大伯加瓦坦早课，请聆听哈拉克什纳。Om Ajnana Tamarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksuran Militanyena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prishtaya Bhutale Srimati Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Sarasati Deve Kauravani Precharine Nirvisesha Sanyavadi Paschatya Desha Tarine Vancha Kaupata Rubyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vasadi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So here in the Brihad Bhagavatam Rita, we are hearing Maharaj Parikshit describe to his mother what he had heard from Sukadeva Goswami. 这部《大伯加瓦唐》三部，嗯，一开始讲到了Rishi的大军，再向他的母亲描述他自己从舒格德格·格斯瓦米那里聆听到的。And uh, 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 he's describing to her about the glories of Vrindavan and all of the living entities in Vrindavan. 他现在在荣耀Vrindavan的荣耀，并且荣耀了Vrindavan的所有生物。he began by describing about the clouds, and then the rivers, and then the different plants and trees. And then he spoke about the different animals which live there in Vrindavan. And how they're all devotees. And then he went on to describe about the people in Vrindavan. And we heard about the, the cowherd boys. And then he went on to speak about the gopi, uh, about Mother Yashoda. Nanda Maharaj. So between the two, Mother Yashoda is considered to have greater devotion than Nanda Maharaj. Sukadeva Goswami described how Maharaj, uh, how Mother Yashoda one day was working very hard and her whole, whole body was covered with perspiration. <coughs> And she was working so hard that the flowers which were decorating her hair, they were falling down. So when Lord Krishna saw his mother in this condition, that she was so exhausted, Lord Krishna became merciful to her. Krishna 
And at that time he agreed to be bound up by Mother Yashoda. So in this way Sukadeva Goswami glorifies Mother Yashoda, who is such an advanced devotee that she can tie up Krishna. Yeah, so we're told how it happened, how, how that incident came about. One morning she wanted, she was churning butter for Lord Krishna. Yeah, Lord Krishna is very fond of butter. And so, with great love in her heart, Mother Yashoda began the task to churn, to churn the butter from the yogurt. Yeah, there was no machines, everything was done by hand. But when Lord Krishna saw his mother doing this, Lord Krishna wanted, he, he had just woken up from his sleep and he wanted to drink his mother's breast milk. So Mother Yashoda began to feed him and at the same time she was continuing to churn the butter. But Lord Krishna didn't like his mother doing all these things at the same time. Lord Krishna would try and grab the churning rod to get his mother just to concentrate on feeding him. But then Mother Yasoda remembered that she was boiling some milk. She had put some milk on the stove and it was milk of the very best cows. It was the best milk and it was boiling over. So she had to put Lord Krishna down and she went to run to take care of the milk. So at that time Krishna had not finished drinking his mother's breast milk. So when Mother Yashoda came back from the kitchen, she came back but she saw that Krishna was not there. And she saw that the pot which she was using to churn the butter, that there was a hole in the bottom. So she looked around and then she found Krishna inside the house. 
and he was, he didn't see his, he, 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 had, he had not seen his mother coming, but he was sitting, eating the butter and feeding some butter to young monkeys. So Mother Yashoda picked up her stick which she uses for churning the butter and she came up behind Krishna. So when Mother Yashoda saw his mother coming, then he ran away and Mother Yashoda ran after him. Mm. So Mother Yashoda finally caught him and he, Krishna was crying and Mother Yashoda was scolding him, she was chastising him. So Lord Krishna was afraid because he saw his mother having the stick in her hand. So Mother Yashoda threw the stick away. She didn't want to frighten Krishna. But she didn't want any more trouble from her son, so she decided it would be good if she tied him up so he didn't run around everywhere. And so she got the rope and she tied it around his waist, but then the rope was too short. And she got more ropes, wherever she could find ropes, she got ropes and she added them, but it was never enough. The rope was always too short. So Mother Yashoda was astonished. She thought, how can this be? So the Lord Krishna was watching and he decided to reward her and he allowed his mother to tie him up. So Krishna's body is all spiritual, it's not material. So it's beyond time and space. So Krishna responded, when Krishna saw his mother making so much efforts, Krishna reciprocated with her. So 
他最后决定，嗯，回报他妈妈，决定允许他妈妈把他自己绑起来。Actually, Krishna cannot be tied up by anyone, but only by his mercy he allowed himself to be tied. We should understand also that Yashoda is eternally, she's eternally in the relationship with Krishna. She's always his mother. So Yashoda should, she should get, she should be allowed to get special mercy from Lord Krishna. So, because Yashoda has so much special love for Krishna, Krishna agreed to allow Yashoda to tie him up. Yashoda is so much love for Krishna, Krishna agreed to allow Yashoda to tie him up. And the love of Mother Yashoda was seen by how much. She was laboring, how hard she was working to serve Krishna, to make nice butter, to give to Krishna. So Sukadeva Goswami says, not even Lord Brahma or Lord Shiva or even Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, can get the mercy like Mother Yashoda. And Lakshmi, the goddess of fortune, she's always on the chest of the of the Lord. She resides eternally on his chest. But she cannot have pastimes like what Mother Yashoda has with Krishna. So Sukadeva Goswami was amazed that, that thinking of just thinking about the love of Mother Yashoda, it caused the hairs on his body and his, his uh, it, it caused him, his, the hairs on his body to stand on end. So many devotees get Krishna's mercy, but none of them can get mercy like what Mother Yashoda got. And so Sukadeva Goswami was appreciating the very special position of Mother Yashoda. And he calls Mother Yashoda a gopi because she's the wife of the king of the gopas, right? She's the wife of Nanda Maharaj and Nanda Maharaj is the king of all the cow cowherd men. So his wife is also a gopi. So 
So the mercy which Mother Yashoda got was never given even to Krishna's own son, Brahma. Brahma is the son of Krishna, right? He's the, the first, he was the son, first son of Krishna. And then Lord Krishna's friend was Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva also, he couldn't get the mercy like Mother Yashoda. And Lakshmi is the consort of Lord Krishna, and she's always residing on his chest, but she also doesn't get mercy like Mother Yashoda. So we can understand Yashoda is a better devotee than Lord Brahma, she's better than Lord Shiva and she's better than Lakshmi because all three of them, they, they just simply worship Krishna. They worship Krishna in on reverence. But Mother Yashoda, she has pure affection for Krishna and she just thinks of him as her son. So the pastime of Mother Yashoda chasing Krishna, the Damodar Lila, how Mother Yashoda is chasing Krishna, it shows how uh, it, it shows how Krishna can resist all the attempts of the devotees to capture him. But when Mother Yashoda, when Mother Yashoda sees Krishna's power, her pure love only increases. Oh, let me word it again for you. So, the, 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 we see in the Damodar Lila, Mother Yashoda chasing Krishna and tying him up. So sometimes we see people trying to control God and trying to capture him. But the Supreme God, God, He will not allow other people to capture Him or to control Him. But Mother Yashoda, when she sees Krishna's powers, his, how inconceivable powers, how he can do so many things which are beyond human being, she just th simply thinks of him. She still thinks, she never thinks of him as God. She thinks of him as her son. Mm. 
So Mother Yashoda has a very unique relationship with Lord Krishna. And we see that the three greatest personalities in the material world, they get many favors from Krishna, but they're not able to please Krishna like Mother Yashoda. Most people in the material world are not equal to Brahma and Shiva and Lakshmi. So they cannot even begin to understand the position of Mother Yashoda. But if people are genuine, if, there's, if they're really looking for spiritual perfection, then Krishna can give liberation from birth and death. But, but, Krishna's, but Krishna's love for his mother is so special that he lets his mother tie him up. And when she ties him up, she uses ropes, which are used for tying the cows. So, if the, if the devotee is pure, then they can be elevated to Krishna's own world in the spiritual world. They can go to Krishna's place of Krishna's abode in the spiritual world and to live in his company. But even though they may get that privilege, they will not get the same favor which Mother Yashoda got. Mm. So Krishna gives benedictions, many different benedictions. Uh, he will give liberation, uh, entering into the oneness of Brahman. But the gopis, their love for Krishna is based on like the love of a mother for her child. Right, we're talking about the older gopis, not the young gopis, but the older gopis. They think of Krishna as their son. And Krishna is happy with this, and he, he, he's happy to take their breast milk and drink their breast milk. Krishna也很乐意忍惜他们的母乳乳制。
So we should understand that these ladies, these older gopis, after they leave their bodies, they go back, they don't come in the material world again. They go back to Godhead. So Parikshit Maharaj was just had been describing about all the different living entities in Vrindavan. So before he describes about the young gopis, he wants to first of all talk about the older gopis. And these, these ladies are like the mothers of Krishna's friends, all the cowherd boyfriends, all the cowherd boys, they're all, his, they have their mothers and their mothers are all great devotees of Krishna. So, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, we see Sukadeva Goswami, he describes that Putana, Putana, the witch who came to kill Krishna, that she got the same good fortune, she got the same blessing as these older gopis. Yeah, because these gopis, the older gopis, they were able to give their breast milk to Krishna. Putana was also able to give her breast to Krishna. Mm, we know Krishna, Krishna became he took the place of all the cowherd boys. When Lord Brahma stole away all the cows and the cowherd boys, Krishna took their place. So at that time, Krishna, Krishna was drinking the breast milk of all the older gopis. They were thinking they're feeding their son, but actually they were feeding Krishna. And they're all actually great devotees of Krishna, so there's no problem. So they had a mother, they have, they're just like the mother to Krishna. All of these older gopis were just like mothers to Krishna. So, there was no, they're not going to suffer birth and death in the material world again. This is going to be their last birth. Yeah, the very lifetime. This is their last life. They'll go back to Godhead. So, 
ordinary people, we're in the, the wheel of birth and death because of our ignorance. But the, these older gopis, they have the highest spiritual knowledge. They have the most perfect knowledge because they're always thinking of Krishna and they think of him as their son. So we should understand all, all the transcendental knowledge and all the other benefits are there if somebody is fully Krishna conscious. Now some devotees, they may feed Krishna, but they don't think of him as their son. But these gopis, they had already, they got such a, they already got so much love of Krishna that they thought of Krishna just like their child. And because they love Krishna so much, that's why their milk would flow from their breasts spontaneously. We should understand Krishna give, he's the giver of liberation and he gives all the goals of life. So we should understand Krishna was not satisfied just to drink only the milk of Mother Devaki. He wanted to drink from the from the gopis also. He even he abandoned Devaki just so he could drink the milk from the gopis. So he had so much love for them that he he went to drink their milk instead of Devaki's milk. So Krishna gives liberation to so many people, many persons to get liberation from Krishna. So why does he not, he should, so naturally he will also give liberation to these women. Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. Yes, Maharaj, can you hear me? Yes, fine. So Krishna favors these gopis even more than his own mother. He was drinking their milk for one year. So these ladies are not going to remain in the material world. They're going to 
be back to Godhead. But Putana, she was always thinking about the blood. She always wanted to drink the blood of little children. And she came to kill Krishna. But, but she offered her breast to Krishna, and being offering her breast to Krishna, she got perfection. So, but these ladies, the gopis of Vrindavan, they're offering their breast to Krishna with pure love. They offered something very dear, just like a mother offers to their child. Now Putana, she was a great witch. But she got the, still she got the position of being Krishna's mother in the spiritual world. Now Krishna also would drink the milk from the cows. He would go to the cows, to the udders of the cows, and he would drink their milk with very happily and the cows would also be happy to give their milk to Krishna. But Putana she got a destination which is usually only possible for devotees. She became a mother of Krishna just like Devaki in the, in, in the, in the, in the, in the spiritual world. The Vaikuntha, the, the spiritual world, is a place of unlimited happiness. But actually, true happiness is found only in the kingdom of God, beyond the wheel of birth and death. Vaikuntha, so Putana, she got into the into the Goloka because she's in Vatsalya Ras, she became like Krishna's mother. So if Putana can get that, then the gopis of Vrindavan, they should get more, even more than that, because they're even, they're better than devotees. But generally we speak about, there are four, oh, Haribo, can you hear me? Can okay. you hear me? Yes. So there are four goals of life and liberation is understood to be uh, liberation, it means that it indicates that 
this you have to get this by uh, having physic a lot of philosophical knowledge you should know to get liberation from the material world we should understand the philosophy we should have a good knowledge of everything But these gopis, they don't, they, 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 this is not enough reward for these gopis. They should get more than this for, as a reward. Yeah, liberation is not enough to give these devotees, these gopis, because they have pure devotion for Krishna. And pure devotion means they also have knowledge and li they're liberated and they know everything else. So liberation doesn't mean anything for the gopis, they're already liberated. So Krishna never gives liberation to his pure devotees like the gopis. And if devotees are full of material desires, he also won't give them liberation. So the nature of Lord Krishna is that he, he will destroy all of these other goals of life. Things like just liberation, uh, it's compared to, you know, to get liberation, you cannot compare it to going to Vaikuntha. To go to Vaikuntha is much greater than just getting liberation. So Krishna is so kind even to materialistic devotees. So we may want to know why would he give, why, why should he give liberation to Why, why should he give liberation to the people like the gopis? Yeah, the, for the people who live in Vaikuntha, the, the greatest achievement is to go to Goloka. Krishna doesn't allow his devotees to endeavor simply for material gain like re material religion, economic development and sense gratification. Krishna 
去努力的获得物质的物质的得益，比如说，呃，感官享乐、经济发展、宗教。So we should understand how kind Krishna is to his devotees. So we should understand how kind Krishna is to his devotees. So we should understand how kind Krishna is to his devotees. So we should understand how kind Krishna is to his devotees. So we should understand how kind Krishna is to his devotees. So we should understand how kind If we just endeavor for these material goals, we want just economic development, sense gratification. It's just going to give us more pain. We're just going to suffer more. There's going to be a lot of pain from endeavoring for these things. 值的目标，嗯，经济发展、感官享乐，它的结果只是会使人导致受苦，只只会使人们更加痛苦。Yeah, in this way, Krishna is protecting the devotee because he 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 ru ruins ruins the, their efforts to try to get these things. He won't allow them to get these things. Krishna is using this way. 保护的奉献者，他他 ，Krishna 摧毁了那些奉嗯那些奉献者去努力获得这些其他目标的努力，他不允许他们去这么做。那 This is the greatest mercy of Krishna。这才是 Krishna 最伟大的仁慈。嗯 ，But somebody may say, well, sometimes we see some devotees of Krishna. That they're successful in getting these material things. That we, we, some people will say, that some devotees, they also managed to get some material benefits. So we should understand that they didn't get the Lord's mercy in full. <laughs> If they got all these things, they didn't get the full mercy of Krishna. 倘若他们得到了这些物质好处的话，那可以理解，他们并没有得到全部的仁慈。Krishna gives full protection to devotees who have no material possessions. Krishna 会保护那些没有物质财产的奉献者。When if the devotee gives up everything material for the sake of Krishna, then he becomes very dear to Krishna. But for others, other people who don't do that, then they don't get the full mercy of Krishna. 但是对于并没有这么做的其他人来说，他们是得不到 Krishna 全部的仁慈的。So for these people who the, the, they still have some material attachments, so Krishna gives them the benefits of these things: Dharma, Artha, Kama. 那么对于那些还有物质依附的人 ，Krishna 会赐予他们这些好处。比如说，宗教、经济发展、感官享乐。So even the neophyte devotee, they're 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 more or less free of material desire. They can also try to get the, the special mercy of Krishna. 即便是那些新奉献者们，他们嗯，努力的想摆脱这些物质欲望的话。But if people are not devotees, then they can never expect to get Krishna's mercy. But those devotees, they will always expect to get Krishna's mercy. They can never get free of their entanglement in the material world. They can never get free of their entanglement in the material world. They can never get free of their entanglement in the material world. They can never get free of their entanglement in the material world. They can never get free of their entanglement in the material world. They can never get free of their entanglement in the material world. They can never get free of their entangl
能不能摆脱在物质世界当中的束缚？那 Vritta Sura， there was this one devotee who was cursed to become a demon. He became Vritta Sura. He got cursed. He was actually a devotee. But he was cursed by Lord Shiva's wife to take the body of a demon, and he became Vrita Sura. So he was talking to Indra, the King of Heaven. Vrita Sura, he was once, uh, he was a dreamer, but he was cursed by Lord Shiva's wife to take the body of a demon, and he became Vrita Sura. So in that 战斗中，他就跟天堂的国王 Indra 这样说话。So Vrita Sura tells Indra, the being king of heaven is useless because you're not a pure devotee of Krishna. Vrita Sura 就告诉 Indra， 你当天堂国王是没用的，因为你不是 Krishna 的纯洁奉献者。So Vrita Sura, he, he. Does, he's not interested in the heavenly planets. He just wants to go back to Godhead. The Vichar Sura Mo, he, for the heaven, has no interest. He only wants to go back to the Lord. It's also described that Krishna fulfills the material desires of a devotee. When the devotee approaches him with material desires, the devotee comes with material desires, so Krishna can give his material blessings. But Krishna will not give benedictions, which will allow the devotee to demand more benedictions again. Krishna allows the devotee shelter at his lotus feet. Even when the devotee does not desire it, but Krishna allows it. And by taking shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, all of their desires are satisfied. That is Krishna's special mercy. For Krishna, there's no, no no request is impossible. Whatever a person may ask from Krishna, Krishna can arrange. Krishna, 而言呢，没有什么要求。Krishna can satisfy all the desires. But still, some people they pray for liberation or or some other kind of perfection. Sometimes Krishna refuses to give them what is asked. 有的人，他们想要得到解脱，或者想要得到其他的完美，有的时候，为什么会拒绝实现 ？The reason is because if Krishna will fulfill Hari Bo, Hari Krishna, oh, Guru Mani, oh. Guru Mani Nizaima. Guru Mani.
Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Yeah? Yes, now it's okay. Okay. Problem. Internet. Okay, so Krishna, sometimes Krishna will not give what they want because he knows they're going to want more. Again, it won't satisfy them. So, so Krishna protects his devotees by not giving them what they want. Okay, we'll stop there. Okay,我们听课部分就讲到这里 Obeisance to, uh, to you, to all devotees. I heard Srila Prabhupada's lecture said that uh, in the spiritual world, there are also trees, but they are different from the trees in the material world. In the spiritual world, the people there are eternal, spiritual, uh, eternal in knowledge and in peace, and they are different from people in the material world. So, my question is that uh, the animal and the plants in the spiritual world, uh, do they also uh, Spiritual, are they also spirit, have the spiritual nature as the person, people in the spiritual world? Are they also eternal knowledge and this? Yes. Yeah, everything, all the living entities is in the spiritual world. They're all. Satchadananda, hmm. but they take, these, they take these different forms for the pleasure of Krishna. She also asked, um, so in the spiritual world, the, mi the micro is also spiritual? Yes. Microphone. Yes, microphone. Yeah, microphone is also spiritual. microphone is also The second part of the question is that 看到Radharani的照片 She said uh, when she saw the picture of Radharani she felt very blissful she loved to see the picture and she felt that her love for Radha is more than love for Krishna How about that? Well, okay, that's all right. You can have love for more love for Radha. They're not different. Whatever you offer to Radha, Radha will offer to Krishna. You give your love to Radha, Radha will give you love to Krishna. Radha 
，你给，你你把一切供奉给 Radha， 然后 Radha 就供奉给 Krishna 了。Yes。嗯，下一个是来自于 Shruti Rupa Devadasi。Hare Krishna， 明白 Guru 和老师们今天两个问题。第一，有一位学习到，有一位学习到道家文化，有好多年的老师，在参加我们联谊后说，很喜欢我们学习氛围和 Prasad， 但是不明白我们的 Kirtan 是有违法还是无违法、啊。他问：“能不能随心所欲的以自己的方式唱哈尔克什纳的圣名呢 ？”So, Hare Krishna, Vaisa to Guru and teachers. There are two questions. The first one is: There is a Taoism, Taoism, a person who practiced Taoism for many years. The this teacher can, uh, as uh, can to our association every time. He likes, he or she likes our. Atmosphere and prasad, but、uh, cannot understand one thing. Whether our pure, our pure time, you wait. 违法，我也不知道你的违法是什么意思。Well, what does she mean in his own way? Yeah, there are no hard and fast rules. Lord Chaitanya said there are no hard and fast rules in chanting the holy name. But I don't quite know what you mean when you say in his own way. What do you mean? How is he going to chant? Maybe he. You don't have to chant with madanga and kartals. But he don't have to use the our melody. He may have his own melody. All right, not a problem. Ah, okay. Um, 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 他也可以用他自己的曲调来唱，这个是没问题的。说，呃，有违法无违法 ？Samsrita Dharma and Asamsrita Dharma。什么 ？In the in the dictionary。Your voice is not clear. Your voice is not clear. Something wrong. I don't know what happened to your mic. Hare Krishna. Okay, that's. Hare Krishna. So in the in the dictionary, it is said that the "有违法" and "无违法" means, 嗯，是佛教对一切事物或一切现象进行分类时所使用的基本概念。Sanskrit karma and Sanskrit karma are the basic concepts that are used by Buddhism when it classifies all things or all phenomena. Phenomena. I, I I didn't quite catch everything you said. Oh, okay. Can you can you I, I, read it again? I checked the I checked the, the dictionary uh, about uh, this term "yuifa" and "wifa." It says that the, some uh, some scripta dharma and the as some scripta dharma are the basic. Concepts that are used by Buddhism when classified all things or all phenomena. That is the 
，呃，有违法，佛教语因为因缘所生，无常变幻的现象世界。That is this a Buddhism term. Uh huh. Refer. Refer to what? So the next. So this devotee said, 有违法是有意为之，无违法是自发的。This this devotee, Pang Ji Dong said that, 有违法 means to do it it intentionally. 无违法 means spontaneously. Oh, spontaneously. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, you can chant spontaneously or intentionally. Doesn't matter. Either way, if you if you chant intentionally, maybe you get more benefit. We should chant from the heart. That's the the point. We should chant with love and devotion. Prabhupada said our chanting should be like a child calling for the mother. Prabhupada said our chanting should be like a child calling for the mother. Prabhupada said our chanting should be like a child Uh-huh。嗯，下一个。嗯，我个人，我个人在每天的扎的那中，目前只能做到一天向神像供奉一餐，有时候就念诵经文。请问这样算不算冒犯呢？In my own sadhana practice, I offered one meal to the deity one day. Once in a day, sometimes I would chant the offer mantra in Chinese. So is this an offense? Sometimes she will what chant the mantra in Chinese. The chant the, the offering prayer in Chinese. Yes. Oh, you mean when she offers the food on the altar? Yes, when when she's offering. Yes, when she's offering, she I guess she cannot chant the Sanskrit. She chant the Chinese uh, meaning. She only read the Chinese meaning, Chinese prayer or offering instead of the Sanskrit, the Bengali. Well. Does she mean the actual prayers when we are offering, or does she mean the prayer which we say when just before taking prasada? The one which we say just before taking prasadam, sharera avijjajau, that that can be said in Chinese. But the foot, the prayer, she, no, yeah. She said, "供奉前的 She said she. She said she can uh, say the offering prayer in Sanskrit, uh, but in the honoring, when it's time for honoring, she can only say it in Chinese. Okay. The foot, uh, the foot, oh, the, foot the, the offering prayer she said in Sanskrit, though. Yes. Okay, very good.
，乐很好。您供奉的时候会繁文的很好。嗯。Next next part。Yeah。在很多时候和家人或朋友在外面吃素的时候，也只是和大家一起在用餐点念三遍圣名。请问咕噜，对于一日三餐的简单供奉有什么训示呢？文文喜，我乃嗯 ，go out to have a dinner supper or meal with my friends and family members. 嗯 ，we eat only vegetarian food, but we only say Hare Krishna mantra for three times before taking the meal. So, Guru, can you give me some instruction, uh, for the simple offering for each, um, for each for for each meal, like breakfast. Uh, Lunch and dinner. Can you give me some instruction about how to operate very simple in a, in a simplified way? Well, we offer it by offering. First of all, we offer to the guru. We say the prayer to the guru. You know, Namam Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pastaya Bhutale Shrimati Bhakti Vidanta Swami Iti Namne. And then we say the Panchatapa prayer, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya. And then we say the Maha Mantra. And usually we'll say each prayer three times. So it's very simple. But that's the difference between offer between taking food which is material and taking spiritual food. Offer to Krishna, offer to Krishna, offer to Guru and Krishna becomes prasadam, becomes spiritual. If we don't offer it, then it's just karmi, it's just karma. Well, the material body is temporary. Material body is going to die one day. We cannot maintain the material body forever. Krishna saves the spirit soul. Yes. The next one is Yogita Sharma. Hare Krishna, Gurudev, please accept my humble obeisances. We are told now to have to tell Krishna of material desires, as he may not fulfill them. In the Bhagavad Gita, chapter 4, 11, verse 11, the Lord says, Ye yata mantrabhadyam tam tamstataya vapadamyam. I will reward one 
according to their surrender. Here is the Lord talking about devotees who surrender or any person who wants to fulfill their material desires. Okay. Um, Hare Krishna Krishna So somebody has material desires. If they come to Krishna, Krishna can fulfill their material desires, but not immediately. He will first of all consider if this is actually good for them. If it's not good for them, then Krishna will not fulfill their material desires. <laughs> Krishna is very careful about fulfilling material desires. As we heard today, if he knows that you're going to come again and again for more and more material desires, he will not fulfill the desire. Krishna will fulfill your material desire if that will be the end of your desires. No more desires after that. Krishna doesn't want you coming every week with another desire. Krishna doesn't Okay. Okay. Obeisance, dear Guru, sometimes we cook too much prasadam from the point of the spirit from the point of health. It's not good to eat the leftover. But if we eat those prasadam that left uh, in the pre uh, previous night or previous day, we uh, all it will influence our spiritual, the uh, consciousness of our spiritual practice. Thank you. Well, it may influence the consciousness of your spiritual practice. So Krishna is going to be careful about that. He won't allow anything to interfere with your spiritual practice. But 
是 Krishna 会会从中干预的。Krishna 不会允许他影响到你的灵性知觉、灵性修行的知觉。If Krishna thinks if he fulfills your material desire, it's going to take away your from your spiritual practice, then Krishna won't allow. She, she asked that because sometimes she would cook too much for Shadan so that she would keep it. For the next day, so she asked that uh, if uh, she take those left over for Shadan, uh, what about the influence of, on the consciousness of spiritual practice? Oh, hmm. okay. So because okay because it, it is also not good for our health. She said. Yeah. So what does she do with it? She, she, didn't, she didn't say that. Now, she will eat, eat those leftover prasadam. Leftover prasadam. Well, she can give it to the trees, put it in the park, or put it, bury it in the ground. Yeah. And if you have some land, if you have a garden, you can bury it in the ground because the food all grows from the ground, so you put it back in the ground. So you should try to be careful to cook the right amount. Try not to cook too much. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that's all the, the question for the day. All right. So we can stop there. Uh, no, 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 Sitarani, Sitarani, David, that's Sit. Dimagulia 猴子的玩偶像号那么听到的是动如果广场舞听到的是动感的拉拉 Zitarani said, Always is for so sweet. When I go out down the street, I will see those buildings that, uh, and the shops and the roads and uh, those shops who sell the food. Like the name is uh, connected with Krishna, like Krishna. Hui Hulu, Hui Lao Da Shipping Yen, and also the part that has your name on um, some part of your name on the <laughs> on the board of the car, like B B B 
if he does those members. And also that some uh, door like uh, looks like Hanuman. And when I go through the street, and those people who are dancing on the on the street, they are chanting the Radha Krishna, the songs about Radha Krishna. So what a, so what about these things? Is it that Krishna is remembering me to never forget Krishna? Yes. You can think like that, but Krishna is helping you to remember him more. You're seeing everything in relation to Krishna. This is de described in the Bhagavad Gita in chapter 6. Krishna says, For one who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost to him, nor is he ever lost to me. So you're having a nice relationship there. It's good. You're, keep, you're, you're, you're being Krishna conscious. You're going outside and you're seeing Krishna everywhere. You're seeing everything in relation to Krishna. Yeah, we want to we want to develop this consciousness. We want to have this to see everything in connection to Krishna. Of course, we shouldn't think, oh, they're dancing for Radha and Krishna. I will also go and dance with them. Because we know their dancing is actually a Maya. So at the same time you can think in your mind that they're dancing for Krishna. But they're enjoying the, they're enjoying the external potency, not the internal potency. As devotees, devotees, we're relishing the internal potency. We're thinking of Krishna dancing with the gopis and Vrindavan. We're not thinking just men and women enjoying each other's company and playing mundane music and dancing in the park. So material world is a perverted reflection. We can think, you know, material world, it's a spiritual world. We can think like that, you know, everything, and we see everything in relation to Krishna. 
but at the same time it's a perverted reflection of the spiritual world. We want to experience the pure, the, the real thing, the spiritual world. So we train the mind. It's good. You train your mind to see everything in relation to Krishna, Krishna Krishna's devotees, Krishna's pastimes. That's very nice. And you can you see the trees, you think they're desire trees, and you see the if there's a mountain, a hill, you think of it as Govardhan. If there's a lake, you think of it as like Radhakund. That way we keep thinking of although you're in the although you're far away from the holy land although you're far away from the holy place but still you're thinking of the holy place so it's as good as being in the holy place. So please continue to think like that. Keep thinking of Krishna and the devotees and the Holy Land. It's always in your mind. Very nice. Okay. Okay. My family members are non devotees. If I cook prasadam in my home, what is the easy way um, to cook prasadam? How to cook it very simple and very easily? Thank you. Well, <laughs> you want to. You want to have pots which are not used for cooking meat. You have to have pots which are, you know, which have not been used for cooking non-vegetarian food. Right, yeah. So you want to, and you want to cook. You should think, I'm cooking this for Krishna. I'm preparing this food for Krishna. And after you cook the food, then you have to offer it to Krishna. Then after you cook the food, then you have to offer it to Krishna. 
You have to place it in front of Lord Krishna's picture and you have to pray to Krishna that please, I'm offering this food to you, please kindly accept it. And we like to chant Hare Krishna and we like to also offer, chant the Panchatattva mantra and like that we will pray to Krishna, please come take food. The food is now ready, please come and eat. And after Krishna takes the food, then you can take the remnants. Okay, yes. Dasi said, uh, Guru, can you share what's the benefits of honor prasada for, pe for people? Thank you, Hare Krishna. Well, by honoring prasada for by honoring food offered to Krishna, we will purify our consciousness. Just simply by eating the food offered to Krishna, we can destroy sinful reactions and we can awaken a love for Krishna. Devotees will only eat prasadam. They won't eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. So this is how a devotee controls the tongue. We say of all the senses, the tongue is the most difficult to control. But by taking prasadam, we can conquer over the tongue. So Guru, the internal energy of Krishna belong to, is it the spiritual and the external energy belongs to the material category? Yes. Yes, it's true. Of course, we could say, well, everything, it's all Krishna, so it's also spiritual. Yeah, and material, you can say the mater Krishna's material energy, <laughs> that because it's Krishna's energy, it's not really material, but at the same time, it's temporary. Hmm. 
you know, try to understand Krishna has different kinds of energies. There's a material, the exter external energy is this material world and that's temporary. It's Krishna's energy but it's material, so it's temporary. But at the same time, Krishna's energy is eternal. So sometimes the material world is created and then it's destroyed. But the material energy just becomes unmanifest. Sometimes it's manifest and then it's unmanifest. Just like sometimes there are clouds in the sky and then sometimes the clouds are not not there, they're just unmanifest, they disappear. But the clouds are always there. So the same way the material world is created and then when it's destroyed then it will enter into Mahavishnu. And then when the creation begins, then the material energy will come out again from Mahavishnu. So sometimes difficult to understand. That the material energy is eternal. We see the elements of the material nature are eternal. Just like we may take elements and we use them to build a house. We have stone and water and, and wood and we use them to build a house. And so after some time then the house becomes old and we knock down the house. So the wood and the stone and the water, they still exist, but they take a different form. Yes. Mother-in-law and my 
brothers and sisters, they can understand that I'm a practitioner, but they cannot understand that I have to offer food and be a vegetarian. So if I go back to my hometown, how can I offering, make offering and cook prashadam? Because I cannot bring my own pot back hometown. Well, I don't know. Why don't you cook for them? Instead of them cooking for you, why don't you cook for them? Yeah, you cook for them and then you can cook vegetarian. Because she said she cannot bring her pot. Why not? If you want to be a vegetarian, you have to you have to do these things. Not, get get another pot from uh, when you go home you have to buy a new pot you keep a, uh, keep another pot at home or do you just eat fruit for a few days just eat don't, don't eat cooked food, just eat uncooked food for a few days. Just like so many devotees, they had to do quarantine. They came somewhere, they were away somewhere and they were trapped, or they came back and they were put in quarantine. So they were in quarantine for two weeks and they have to eat food which they're given. They don't get prasada. So what do they eat? <laughs> No, they have to eat try to try to eat whatever they can eat. I don't know how they manage, I don't know. 是能吃的，我不知道他们吃什么。嗯。OK。好，下一个。他。李奉献者。H开头的，顶拜姑和所有奉献者。有时候朋友给一些水果，当着他们的面不能正规供奉。以前听说过，一首念诵三遍，为水
Yes, it's a simplified offering. The important thing, the important thing is that you have to do the offering with love, with devotion, genuine devotion. Pray to Krishna that because I'm in this situation, I'm not able to offer properly, so please kindly accept what I'm offering, kindly accept my simple offering. Uh -huh. uh, that's the final question for today. Okay. So, Vamaganshya Guru Mani, give Vamajantai the fun he, Vamaganshya Sari the functions in Ling Ting, T1, Vamajufu Niman, Chang Song Kwai La, Vamshit Ru Yi, Chuan Zhao Shun Li, Hare Krishna. Thank Go back to Brindaki. Haribo. Hey.